all right brother it is real easy real simple today today we're taking a look at one of the uh, the newer obsidian games grounded it's a new survival game new ish survival game early access a lot about bugs and today we are ranking those bugs from based on how much you're going to um Boy. your pants when you encounter them now i do have the ranking system here we have still clean at the bottom you know still still you're still your sunday best you sharded we, 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 we've all been there you uh you're walking outside maybe you're trying to go for a run maybe you're doing a, a squat and you had a little too much um coffee in the morning you know how it is we have the dingleberry level now this is where you're starting to pick up the heat a little bit maybe you had taco bell the night before maybe you were trying to sing a led zeppelin at the middle of the party and something went kind of haywire that's when the dingleberry is coming on in hemorrhoids you decided that you're no longer 45 years old and you go to the gym you pick up a deadlift bar 400 and something odd some odd pounds in your heyday this was nothing but now you pick it up everything breaks and you get luck uh, you're left with hemorrhoids code brown this is for when you're about 72 years old and, and you just kind of wake up you don't know what's going on code brown is just something that happens on a nearly daily basis it's the worst thing that can happen to you also it means it's the scariest bug on the planet we're talking arachnids we're talking um arachnids mainly dude this spiders are spiders are scary brother not a huge fan of them so let's go ahead and jump let's go ahead and get started here i'm honestly we're gonna start small we're gonna start spiderling the spiderling in the game it has those beady eyes it looks into your soul they turn red when they're angry they're extremely white which already puts them a little bit more entitled than the rest of them here so you know like still cleans false they don't quite, you know, they're not quite a dingleberry level. Let's put them in shard squad because when you notice them, okay, they're, they're not too death to find. Like, it's still a spider. They do attack. They do hit pretty hard. You know what? Dingleberry seems right for them, actually. Let's go to spiders. Or, uh, spiders. Let's go to ants here. Ants, in fact, they are a little, they're kind of like dogs in this game. They're kind of adorable. I'm going to put them in the still clean category. You get, they, they don't attack you. And when you do attack them, they, they are, they're, they're kind of like herd animals. When you get one, you're going to get multiple. However, they don't do a ton of damage. And if you, if, 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 if you turn around, once, once it, one sinks up on you, you're not going to be like, oh no, you're going to be like, ah, it's, it's kind of adorable. Put them in still clean category. Let's go to the bomb, bombardier, bomb, bomb, bombay. Boombastic beetle, uh, the bombardier beetle. Now, uh, at first glance, the first time you see this monstrosity of a bug, it's terrifying, okay? But after you get used to him, you're like, okay, it's daytime, he has a big green ass, and uh, he's really not that t threatening. However, when he puts on the stink, when he lets go of the damage, it goes on up there. We're gonna put him we're gonna put him first class dingleberry dingleberry plus even it might not be you know he, he's, he's on the verge of popping out a hemorrhoid but i think we're gonna stick the dingleberry on this one um you know what i think it's time to go for our first official full-grown spider the orb weaver yeah i believe this is the wolf spider we're gonna go with the orb weaver here the orb weaver there's if there's two spiders in the game i believe the orb weaver is technically the the lesser of the two spiders the, the wolf spider we'll get to the orb weaver you gotta put it you know it's code brown okay because here's why here's why you'll be you'll be sitting in your base minding your own business and uh they they they, they decide to show one up you turn around <laughs> whatever the hell the noise they make and uh you basically you know code brown right because you got to run away you're terrified you got to get you got to get the hell out of dodge and figure out where you can find jesus because that's going to be a tough one to get rid of there you know like most spiders let's get into some of the infected no 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 no. we, we, we did a spicy one let's go a little less spicy let's go mites mites brother i step on mites for breakfast i eat these with a side of eggs toast with a little bit of jelly in the morning we're gonna, we're gonna put them in the still clean category now um if we're, if we're ranking these uh if it's if it's the scarier ones go on the left and the right ones are the least scarier technically the mites are a little bit scary because they are aggressive but however that is giving them a lot of credit 
moving on over to let's go with the larvae so based on strictly looks I'm gonna put them in the hemorrhoid category because when I see these things, usually they're in bunches and they are absolutely disgusting. I'm pretty sure I've seen some of these, uh, seen some of those when I was 19. I forgot to clean on the pan after a while. It looked just like this. Maybe not as big, maybe a little bit bigger even. Um, but they're definitely hemorrhoids. They, they don't really do a ton of damage. They're all, they're a lot. There's a, there's a ton of them together. They make really weird noises. I'm not really a huge fan of. Um, Code Brown be pushing it. Dingleberry, maybe top Dingleberry, but we're gonna put them. In the low hemorrhoids category have you, ever, have you ever had a hemorrhoid talk to me man man to, to viewer to man to woman whoever you may are have you ever had a hemorrhoid don't don't lie to yourself i'm 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 a, I'm a lifter if you if you haven't noticed and uh it, it, it's i believe it's kind of genetic i asked my my grandmother about it she's like yeah it's it's part of it honey so you know how it is and just just leave in the comments below if you have let's go with the ladybug still clean i actually um when you when you you know okay hear me out okay hear me out i'm i'm, I'm almost low to your shark oh actually hear me out here's why they're they're not aggressive okay they're not very aggressive however when when you don't encounter it first you've already encountered spiderlings you you've encountered bombardier uh, beetles you've you've encountered termites you see this because they're huge these, you see these big ass ladybugs like is that dangerous and it kind of like shifts your weight a little bit like you get ready for to throw some bows at him but he they're normally harmless i'm just saying at first glance he's a low tier shark and then once you start once you start going to town on him he's not really that bad um, I think now now the next time for another heavy hitter the stink bug It's either gonna be low tier code brown or high tier hemorrhoids I have ran into encounters where I, I I'm, I'm, I'm seeing the the face off of the century. I cannot get this correctly I can't I can't I can't grasp my beautiful face the best It's a face off the face off of the century think of Muhammad Ali and the other guy Muhammad Ali and George Foreman um, um, McGregor versus uh, who, who is it? Mayweather uh, Tyson versus the guy he lost to this is a, as you can tell my, my my fighting history and analysis is not that great but it's super scary however they're, they're intimidating because they're big right they're intimidating because they're big they're a lot like me when you're when you're sitting at six nine 256 pounds you're, you tend to be scary, but honestly, when you start talking to him, you realize, hey, he's a sweet guy. He doesn't do too much, and then bam, he hits you, and you wake up, and you're um, having a bad time. This is this explains stink bugs because they, they do a lot of damage. They do a ton of damage. So I'm, I think I'm gonna leave them low tier code brown. But uh, you know, I, I think I, I think you're barking along the the, the along the, the along the road of. High tier hemorrhoids. Okay, let's go with it. Um, here we go. The infected weevil. It looks fucked up. Okay, it doesn't look the greatest. It doesn't do a lot of damage. But let me tell you, the, the there was a fateful day where I ran into one of these, killed it like one hitter quitter. You know, just mmm, mmm, mmm. One hitter quittered it. I'm like, oh, okay, time to loot, and just just explodes on me like it's the 4th of July and it's I'm surrounded by a group of fellas I'm gonna put him a high tier dingleberry damn near low tier hemorrhoid just because I had a lot of pressure behind that scare when it first happened I think to put this in the same category as a, uh, a stink bug is false so we're, we're gonna go we're gonna go high tier dingleberry uh honestly i mean low tier shark for the infected might maybe even high tier still clean they're to me they're really no different than the normal mice i think they're a little bit more aggressive they do a little bit more damage but they're really not once you've encountered a normal mite you've encountered an infected mite nothing's crazy finally we come down to the last two we're gonna save the wolf spider flash the real question is where do you put them between here is the, the soldier ant first and foremost it's kind of the same situation once you've seen the ant you're like okay ants really aren't that scary however these things are like hella aggressive if i if i see one i tense right i'm like oh ooh. maybe a low tier dingle may honestly just above a spiderling dingleberry i think is where we're sitting i think yeah i think i think that's pretty good actually i think that's it's right around our alley okay okay finally the 
wolf spider he's not going dingleberry where, where would you pull the wolf spider i would love to see by the way I, I'm, 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 I'm gonna link this down below i want you i want to i want to know what you were put these guys the wolf spider usually comes out at night usually is more aggressive does more damage than the orb weaver and usually is a lot more pissed off it sounds like my uh my father um we're gonna go a top tier code bound it's not a shocker i know you i know you're not shocked that you it's i'm rating the bugs and you can't believe who's number one type situation it's it's not a shocker but let me tell you the adrenaline the lack of testosterone that flows out of my body as soon as one of these guys show around i drop everything i run like a little school girl about to go into a uh, homeroom class and, and sit right in the front and yell hey teacher i know the answer that's what the wolf spider does to me and that's gonna be it guys let me know what you think of uh, what, 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 what do you think of my my shit tier list i think it's pretty good here honestly i i i, I think if you're a new player it's gonna be something that you can worry about there are a few other bugs that i didn't include because they would be they would be low tier still cleaning the gnat and the weevil and the aphid they don't really do any damage like at all they just kind of like they just, just kind of exist so they'd be down here but i didn't really feel like getting the pictures for them i know i know lazy me but if you like the video please like comment subscribe i'm oxidized and i'll see you